Hey, how's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Violet Adventure. Last time, I defeated Aerie of the Calf Squad, and that's actually my fourth of the Team Star bosses I've taken down. That means there's only one left for me to fight, and he's all the way over here. <laughs> it's Giacomo. Yeah, that's usually the one you'd fight first. But, you know, I can do it in any order I want, gosh darn it. So, yeah. So, that does kind of, you know, bring me to this point. I know I talked about this at the end of the last video. But, as you can see, the eastern half has been completed, more or less. So, that means I need to start Season 2. I guess this makes us the season finale, right? Well, I want to check out a little bit more of this place first. Because there was one thing that was left undone. And that's getting my reward. I need one more trainer, and there were not enough trainers around here. So, now that I've taken down the calf squad, I can actually go right back there. In fact, I was kind of looking at this area around here. I know I can check this place out. There's some places around here I can only go after I have the ability to climb, which requires taking down the false dragon titan. But... I can still check out a lot of it. I just couldn't do that until I've defeated the Cap Squad. So let's head on over there now. Yeah, so pretty much anywhere down here I can just jump down. I mean, there's a mass outbreak of Houndoom, which is great. I actually don't have a Houndoom, so let's see if I can sneak up on one. Level 50. That's actually stronger than the one in the beginning of the game. Hey, doggo. You're coming with me. And it broke out of the first quick ball. Well, that's not a good sign. Come up and... Whoa! There we go. Natural critical capture. Great. Cool. So now I've got Houndoom. I guess that's a good thing. But there's probably a few other Pokemon in the area as well. Man, look at this outbreak. Like, they weren't kidding when they said an outbreak of Houndoom. These things are all over the place. What the heck? There's so many of them. Huh. Well, that's cool. I guess if I- Whoa! Sorry about that, Sunflora. Yeah, I guess if I wanted to get a Houndoom, that'd be a good spot. So, what do we have over here? We have a bunch of Dreepy. We have uh, Golduck. Like, quite a few things around. A lot of the same stuff I've seen, which is fine. But, I did see a trainer over there I want to go fight. Because I just need one more trainer. Doesn't matter who they are. Just needs something. All right. Well, we'll fight a black belt. Let's let's use Send Tweed. Probably gonna have what was that? Oh yeah, Swablu. Okay, you're probably gonna have something fighting, right? Oh look at this Gogo -Go come. Whoa, easy there, pal. <laughs> Are you okay? Gogo -Go really wanted to say hi. I got my black belt through an online course. Uh, okay. Whoa, easy there, Gogo. -Go. This Toxicroak is both great news and terrifying news. No Sucker Punch? Great, no Sucker Punch. Then it's great news. He's got a Tauros as well, one of the Paldean Tauros. Once again, should be no problem for Sentweed. Last up, he's got a Gallade, and that should still be easy for Sentweed. I've got Air Slash. Oh no, it survived. But it flinched. And it has Steadfast? Oh no! It actually outsped me thanks to Steadfast. Wow, that's wild. Great, well that wasn't too bad. Wait, this stuff is way harder in real life? Yeah. Can't learn everything through online courses. You can learn a lot though. So there are a lot of Hawlucha around here. There's a lot of these low kicks. There's like all sorts of stuff that wants to ambush me, so I gotta be a little careful. Did I? Yeah, I got Noivern. I did get both of them. But this is another good spot to get Noivern. Ooh, Caparaja. Now, I was not so lucky with that last time. Let's see if I can get a little luckier this time. Perfect. That wasn't too bad at all. All right, so what else do we have in the area? I see an item over here. There's a full restore. Yeah, this place is a mess to navigate, especially without my, like, any ability to cross the water or any ability to climb. It's gonna be a little limited what I can do. I guess I already have what I need, which is great. Like, the main thing I needed was the, um, 
the trainer, so I should probably just go back and get my reward now. But I have to see what's over here, right? What is over here? I see a crystal. I know that there's ruins around here somewhere, too. I just don't remember where they are. Lumberry and an Ultra Ball. Two for one special. Hyper Potion. Ah! So where the heck does this lead? Oh, does this lead back to... Yeah, okay, this is perfect. This is kind of where I was wanting to go anyway. So this is that cliffside I saw last episode that I was trying to scheme... Or actually, I guess it was two episodes ago. Dark Pulse up here. Yeah, I was trying to scheme for way... Oh, there's the Dragonite! Yeah, this is a good spot to camp for that Dragonite. I wonder if I can get another one. Probably not really worth it, right? Well, I'm gonna try, gosh darn it. I mean, I'm heading that way anyway. Dragonite, get back here! No! I want you again! <laughs> I'm greedy. I'm greedy for Dragonites, okay? Oh, this one came down to the ground, okay. Sure, I see how it is. Nice, and I caught it. Something I meant to say, or I guess I didn't really mean to, I just only thought of it when I was going through the episode. It's like, it was raining in the bamboo grove here earlier in that episode, and then I fought this Dragonite, and it had, uh... It had a rain dance, so like, I think my new headcanon for it is it's what causes the rain around here. I just love that. Okay, what's my reward, pal? Five trainers, great. So I get outraged. Yeah, I'm very outraged after, uh, after having to go beat the, uh, the, the squad over there. Well, at least I got it. It's a nice, solid TM. Really good to have. I mean, a little dangerous. But, you know, definitely a good one to have in my arsenal. Okay, let's go back to where I was and check out more of northern or northeastern Paldea. I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm going to go where I went, like, at the end of last episode. And when I say last episode, I really mean it this time. I picked up some items around here. Whoa! Hi, Shelgon! What's up? Oh, shoot! I don't even have Shelgon. Well, let's change that. Or let's just knock it out. Can't even take an icy win. That's disappointing. I've seen a few of those around, though, so I should be fine. But yeah, I didn't go any further past here, because I did want to save that. Like, I knew this would be quite an adventure. But let's see what uh, what kind of stuff I can find around here. Oh, Lucario and Riolu. I've already seen those. There's Bug Buzz. That's a pretty nice TM few kind of underwhelming items, but there is a camera up here that I do not have. Let's go ahead and catch this thing if I can. Nice! Another critical capture! Sure makes catching these things easy. Yeah, as you get more and more Pokémon in your Pokédex, I know I've said this before, but as you do get more, the chance of getting a natural one does increase, which is great. And, I mean, even if you don't see it while you get the, uh... Oh, I don't have Numble either. Even if you don't see it while you get the so-called bugged critical capture, like, if it's a Pokémon you already have, as of the time of recording this, they still haven't fixed it. But, yeah, I'm sure that it still makes it, like, more... more likely for you to catch it. Like, if you know every time it catches it, it's going to be a critical capture. Like, visually, it's a critical capture. There's still times where it is, behind the scenes, a critical capture that will boost the chances. So that's good. That's good. It just is invisible to you if you're trying to catch them. And I caught it. Kind of wasted three Ultra Balls on it. I just didn't want to weaken it. I mean, I guess to be fair, there were plenty more around. I probably could have just, you know try to hit it, and if I knocked it out, well, there's still more around. I guess I can take this Chopalberry off of Sissy, and I can also put back on the loaded dice. So, there should be some ruins right over here. Why, yes, there are. And I think I see, yep, yep, I wonder what that is. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. I can't wait to press the A button on this someday. But, whoa, <laughs> you know how it goes. I am going to be saving, collecting these for a single video where I'll compile them all and make it easier for you to find just in one video. So this is one of the eastern ones. Despite it being in the North Province, I believe this is for the eastern because it is a blue, blue one. Um, 
I think, right? Well, whatever the case, here's where it is. I'll round them all up sometime in the future. But for right now, I'm just gonna look at it. Just gonna point it out. You can pick it up, or you can wait for later, or whatever. Right, I need to get this TM. I don't believe I just passed it. It's like, wait a second. Giga Impact! That's pretty nice. Yeah, I almost just left that thing on the roof. That would have been a shame. All of the Pokemon around here are pretty high level as well. They're like 50 to 56, I think. So, I mean, my Pokemon are a little bit higher level than that, but not by much. Ooh, an iron under this tree. But yeah, there's all these Halucha too. They are a pain. Because they hit really hard. Like, they, they don't mess around. I think they do give good experience points. If, like, I needed a grind or something, but they are also very strong. So, it looks like I can kind of check out a little bit of this mountainous area. It's going to be a little tricky to traverse, but I'll see what I can do. Rare candy. Always good to have those. And then over here, there's a max revive, which is also pretty cool. I think I'm going to get stuck if I go down here. Well, let's do it anyway. Ooh, an Arcanine. That's kind of cool to see wild Arcanine. I already have an Arcanine because I evolved the Growlithe. Ooh, a Bottle Cap. That's handy. And then Sludge Bomb. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm stuck down here. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Yeah, there's no way out. Wait, can I? Maybe I can take this ramp. Is this a ramp? Will it let me out? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Hey, where there's a will, there's a way. Alright, so what do we have over here? Rock slide. Nice to get another of those TMs. Ooh, a white herb. It's kind of a nice pickup on the ground. It's just one of those little glittering item pickups. Alright, there's another shell gun. Let's see if I can sneak up on this thing to make it a little easier to catch. Well, I didn't get the sneak up bonus, but that's fine. Okay, Icy Wind is a little too much for it. What about... what about Air Slash? This actually might be too much, too. No! I mean, good experience. So this is where I was just a moment ago to kind of jump up there, but I do so believe... Yeah, there's lovely waterfalls here. And one of the areas you're going to need to take all of those stakes, too. Like, remember that gate? That, like, sealed cover lid thing? Whatever you want to call it. Near the beginning of the game, there's one kind of up there. Which I don't think I have the ability to, to reach at all. Like, it's so far up there, there's no way I can climb. But know that that's somewhere you're going to need to go, eventually. So what do we have over here? I see a Terra Pokemon. I wonder what it is. It's gone because of course it is. Man, I can't believe for a moment I thought that that bug was fixed. I can't believe it. Oh, this is over where I jumped down from. I guess I got so distracted by the Houndour I didn't get this Ultra Ball. Yeah, I know. I said Houndour, not Houndoom. So fight me, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyway, it's just an, an Audino, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So, let's see. There was something else I was going to do. Did the thing respawn? No, it didn't. What the? That's so strange. Yeah, it was over here. Maybe I have to leave even farther. Like, I just went back to the Pokemon Center to see if it would respawn then. But, no dice. Well, maybe I'll check it out later. I might not be able to do that much more here without being able to climb, to be honest. Alright, I like me a challenge. Let's see if I can get up here. Okay, now what? Like, where I really want to go is over there. That would be cool. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, but we're going to find out. No! Maridon, you are my horse and this is Skyrim! Okay, I see some potential! Oh, we're almost up! 
You've got this, Maridon! Yes! Oh, beautiful jumping. Okay, so, uh, yeah, what, what's waiting for me up here? This isn't even where I need to be, but it is nice to see this area up here. Is that an item? Yeah, there is an item here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they hide so many items even in weird locations like this. Hmm. Actually, this area here I don't think is easily accessible without climb. So let's see if there's anything cool over here. This is a nice lake. I like this lake. Uh, I should be able to jump over there, right? I mean, it's very, very shallow water. Three items, what could they be? Experience Candy XS, M, L, and S. Well, that's cool. A nice little, little, uh, candy jar of Experience Candy, All right, right? There are a bunch of Dreepy and Dracloak here. Hopefully this thing doesn't despawn. What is it? It's small. Oh, it's a Mimikyu. Level 65 Mimikyu, but what type? It's a fairy type Mimikyu. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's got a big heart on its head. I mean, I might as well hit it with something, right? Gotta break that disguise. Play rough. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Ow! A critical hit! Curse! Oh no! Oh! Okay, right, right. It's no longer a ghost type. That's actually kind of interesting. To switch its type off of ghost to get the defensive boost from that. I don't think it really mattered here. I hadn't really considered that for Mimikyu. I like the texture on Mimikyu on this generation too. Like it really does look very much like a like a doll or something. Got me the Mimikyu. Here's a look at this Mimikyu. Not too bad, man. Look at that speed. Yeah, it's uh it's good. It's just kind of cool to see. I mean, it shouldn't be too much of a problem finding wild Mimikyu. But, you know, I'd rather have a level six well, actually, I guess I really wouldn't rather have a level 65 one now, would I? Because I can't use it until I get more badges. I'm not sure I'll be able to climb these steps, but it kind of looks like I'll be able to. Well, okay, that was clumsy. Let's see if there's anything cool up here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Ooh, a haunch crow. I already have a haunch crow. That's just a cool thing to see. But I do have a haunch crow, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I think I have something and I don't. Sometimes I think I, or yeah, that's exactly it. Sometimes I don't think I have something and I do. That happens quite often. All right, all right. So nice little rocky area up here. This is kind of where I was earlier. Now over there, I think there's like an item or a TM or something up there, but I don't think I can get there unless I can glide or climb. Either of those would work. You know, those might be travel options in the future, maybe. I mean, <laughs> you probably know already, but yeah. So where I want to go is over there, and I'm not entirely sure I'll even be able to get there. I'm going to see if I can, but it might require some shenanigans. I hope you like shenanigans! Ooh, there's an item down here. You know, the sad thing is, if I fall during all this, I'm going to end up all the way down there. And that is, that's going to be uh, pretty tricky to come back from. Literally. Oh, no! I jinxed it! I jinxed it! I also just remembered I can't swim, so it's better this way. Because now I'll just teleport back up. Okay, made this jump. That's pretty good. I'd like to get over there, and I'm thinking there's a possibility... At least knowing if I fall into the water, it's not actually as catastrophic as I thought it'd be. Although, this isn't the water, so, hmm. I don't want to get stuck, either. Well, we're just gonna see if I can get there. I like challenges. Oh, no! Okay, got this. No, I don't. 
No, I don't. Yes, I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Hard to say. I'm just gonna keep hopping. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sliding! No! I'm sliding! Oh no! Ah! No! I'm in a loop! I'm in a loop! No, 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 no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Okay, wait, I'm, I'm here, but I'm not? Oh no! All right, go back up, please. Yes, take me, take me home. No. Ah! <laughs> I ended up in the Pokemon Center. So remember a few episodes ago, I guess it was quite a few episodes ago, where I teleported to the Pokemon Center after falling in the water, like, repeatedly? I think we've actually seen why that is, and it did save me. Like, while I was up there, I got stuck in a loop. I could not move. Like, I was actually stuck. So that would have been frustrating. Like, I was trying to mash Y. I probably could have teleported out if I kept at it. It's just a nice failsafe. I'm kind of glad to see it work that way. Just so it's clear, my goal is to get over here. There's some cool stuff over here, but I'm not 100% sure I'm even physically going to be able to. But I'm gonna try, gosh darn it. Okay, back at these ruins seems like a decent spot. Now, I do at least have high jump, so that should give me some extra height. But I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make this backwards jump. Oh, I'm going, I'm going the distance. Oh no, yes, maybe, oh no. See, you have to do it backwards because otherwise if you're pointing forwards, you'll like slide, so that's not good. So it's kind of very temperamental. Okay, I see my path up there. This is gonna be a little tricky, but in order to do it, I need to like turn at the last minute over in this corner here. Or just jump up here? Oh yeah, there we go. Whew. Okay, well that didn't quite work the way that I planned, but that's fine. You know what? The best plan is no plan. Wait, what? <laughs> so this is a very secret area over here in the... In fact, I'll show it to you once again. It's over here. Very hard to get to. You're probably not going to be able to do this. If you can, cool. You join the Cool Kids Club. But remember when I said there were Dragonite? Like, more Dragonite? Well, yeah, here's a wild Dragonite. In fact, not just any wild Dragonite, but a Terra wild Dragonite. Oh, don't see me. Don't see me. It's also very, very strong. So I'd like to sneak up on it just to improve the catch rate and get a free turn. Level 75 wild Dragonite. Well, Terra Dragonite. And it's a steel type Dragonite! Oh man! I'm gonna feather dance it, because otherwise this thing's gonna hit so hard. Kinda wish I was a fire type right about now. Well, this was bad. I can't believe it used Earthquake when I had a flying type out. Come on, what was that all about? Oh no, okay, this is more predictable. Sorry, big service! You tried! 
Okay, sissy, you only need to do a little bit of damage to break this thing's shield or whatever. Get rid of that axe on its head. Alright, let's get another Dragonite. Uh-oh! It's got Dragon Dance? Oh, man. Thankfully, I've got a critical capture! Or just luck. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this Dragonite. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's so strong. 229 attack, Iron Head, Dragon Dance, Aerial Ace, and Earthquake. Pretty darn good. I mean, missing a damaging Dragon-type move, but that's fine, doesn't even need it. But wait, there's more! More, you say? Why, yes, more. There are even more Pokemon around here. There's more Dragonite! Yep, more Wild Dragonite. This one's just a level 55 Dragonite, and I think I've gotten enough level 55 Dragonite to be perfectly honest. There's some Floette over here, and I believe there's another Dragonite over here. Just like a Wild Dragonite. Comet Shard, that's pretty good. Let me grab this thing on the very edge. X Accuracy, okay. And Dragon Pulse. Well, I'd say that solved the problem for my Dragonite, but eh, not really. Yeah, here's another level 55 Dragonite. Just kind of funny to have, like, just a bunch of Dragonite up here. They're not, like, a ton. I mean, it's... These are, like, I think static encounters. Like, it's not like they just spawn in packs, like, in the wild. But they'll be here. Like, I think they respawn every so often. So it's just kind of cool. And I just, I love going up here and finding, like, these big old Dragonite. There's... Dragon Dance over here, too, which is pretty nice. I wonder if there's something over in these rocks. I should really check. Anything at the top? Uh, regrettably, no. Don't see anything. Vespiquen and Vivian up here. That's kind of unexpected. All right, well, I've checked out just about everything there is over here, at least that I have access to. Like, there are still a few cool locations. Like, there's this lake here on top of some mountains that's kind of neat, to say the least. And, well, there's something up here, of course, that I kind of mentioned, but I don't really have a good way to do that. So, that basically concludes this side of the map, which means I need to go back to Mesa Goza. Alright, well, this is what could have been. <laughs> if I went through this path at the very beginning of the game, I would have had an entirely different journey now, wouldn't I have? But that's fine. I like going through this path whole region or this half of the region along this way and I didn't really have much of an issue with levels like that's what's nice about splitting this into half I didn't really feel like I was too under level I felt like I wasn't too over level for most of these it was just right like I like that I think that was fine so that's why for this upcoming journey through the western part of Paldea I know I could just completely destroy the uh the whole thing if i just brought in this team like nothing would pose any challenge whatsoever so that's why i'm going to be leaving them all behind well not permanently they'll regroup later but for right now they're going to take a break i need something in my team so i'm just going to take this azuril all right i'm gonna put these into the battle team <laughs> just because it will remind me that they are ready to go. Battle teams are used if you're doing like tournaments or competitive battles, like you can kind of keep them over there. I don't really think there's a clear reason I need to do it, but that way it'll just remind me, hey, you can't use these. These are off limits. They are here in team one. I can change the name. Ooh, let's do that. There, we have East Squad. Sweet! So East Squad's ready to go. Let's put Sissy in the leader of the pack. In fact, I'm gonna reorder them in the order that I caught them in or was using them in i think that's right seems about right wait no there we go all right now we're good so yes they will be reserved here for later i will figure out what to do with my uh well with my main my new team you know but i don't want to use anything in here that i caught i'll catch new things along the way i think that'll make it fun but it doesn't mean anything that you know is new to my pokedex like if it's uh Let's say I want to use an Ackley. Like, I could catch an Ackley over there, 
That's fine. Or let's say I want to use a Rickety. I can catch it there. I'm just not going to use these ones. And this Azuril is just a placeholder because I might end up bringing along an egg, or rather hatching an egg for one of the starters. But that is going to do it for this episode, for this season, right? We're moving on to season two. This is the season finale, the dragon finale, right? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Violet Adventure. See you next time, everyone.